Hi, welcome to my video, welcome to my website, westchestervoicelessons.com, and please visit my sister site, which has a lot of tips for singers, vocalfocus.com. So today we're going to apply what we did in the last video, which was really about the breath for singing and how we don't push out or suck in the belly for breathing. What we do is we relax the belly and the expansion that we feel in the low body is completely passive and relaxing. So it's not about working, it's really about relaxing some major muscle groups which are your abdominal muscles and your pelvic floor muscles. So I'm going to put you now in some positions other than standing so that you can feel this very easily and then we will get to standing at the end of the video. So the first one, um, if you are at all disabled and can't get on the floor and cross your legs or in any way your, your hips are tight and you can't cross your legs, you can do it seated on a chair at the same position just twisting around. But I'm going to show you um, what we do on the floor which is a cross-legged position and you're going to just twist around. So we're going to take one hand here, one hand back, don't lean back, sit up straight and then I want you to twist around and look over your shoulder and I'm purposely doing this so that your abs get tight. Your abs will be tight and in this position you can relax your abs by just letting them feel out, soft, fat, and just let them go loose and then what I want you to do is go and you feel a passive bouncing in your belly if you can see this in the video and then we go to the other side as well we're just going to twist around again we're going to sit up straight relaxing our belly let it go and then And that really gives us a nice feeling of that passive expansion for the breath. The next thing is to come up on kneeling position. We'll just back up a little bit. Same thing, your abs will be tight. And I want you to relax them. So your hands are here. Under your hands you feel a much bigger belly, a much softer belly. And then... And now if your upper body bounces, it means that you didn't relax your belly enough. So relax belly and pelvic floor and very good. And that's how you do that one. Then we can do a seated one. Let's see if I can get this on the camera. Good. Yes, yeah, seated. This one, we're going to put our elbows on our knees, cup our chin in our hands, relax your belly. And I'm just taking some sniffs through my nose and feeling my belly bounce. And that is the feeling of the passive, relaxed belly expansion. Beautiful. Next one, we can do a bent over breath, which is a really nice way to feel this. So here, you want to find your hip joint, first of all, to bend. You want to bend from your hips. They're the tops of your thighs right here. This is my belly button. Your hips are not here by these big bones. They're there. So they're right on the tops of your legs. Right there, right? So you put your hands there to feel it. It's a hinge joint and your knees should be slightly bent because when we lock our knees back, we inadvertently lock our abs and of course a locked abs will not help us breathe for singing. So we're just going to bend, slightly bent knees, finding that low hip joint, bend over and take a breath. And that's a really easy way, again, to feel that low body passive expansion. So that's it for today. I just wanted to share with you ways to find this relaxation here and the passive expansion. Another thing you can do is just try, if you felt very successful at that, do some standing. One hand on your chest, one hand on your relaxed belly, right over your belly button. Take a breath. And only your bottom hand should move. There should be no movement in the upper chest. So um, take these exercises very slowly and carefully and make sure that you're really doing them right. It's very easy. It feels like so much less work than you're used to for breathing. 
And one thing you might notice is that you don't feel a lot. When you're taking a high breath up here, there's a lot of sensory input, meaning that you feel like you're doing something. So that people like that feeling of, oh boy, I did a lot of work and I'm really feeling the breath. However, you don't really want that. You, you don't need to feel all of that. You want to feel very little. So the breath down here is just, it feels like nothing and it relaxes the throat and helps you have enough breath for singing even though it feels like less. So there is an intimate connection between the state of the open throat or closed throat and the breath. And of course we need the open throat for the breath to flow through. So the next video is going to talk about the open throat. I just like to do one concept at a time. So for now, just practice this. I will be back soon with another video and have a great day. Happy singing and happy breathing. Take care. I'm Ronnie Sarah Letterman. Nice talking to you today. Take care. Bye.